this picture was drawn with the help of Art Studio Pro app. This one, too. But before you'll start to create your own piece of art, let's talk about basics of Art Studio Pro. We are starting with top menu. First icon in the left corner will open our document browser, or in other words, gallery. Using button in the middle, we can sort our documents by date or by name. We have also a few icons located in the upper toolbar. Tapping the plus icon, we are activating a popover with options for creating a new document. We have new empty, new from photos, new from file and new folder. Next on the right is share icon. You select a document you want to share. Then you have to choose a format of shared file. And finally, choose how to send your file via email, sharing on Facebook, or to the cloud service, or just save or print, etc. Next is edit icon. In edit mode, you can select one or more documents. You can delete any document. You can also change the name of your document or move it to the folder. So let's open a document and see what other cool stuff we have in the main view of Art Studio Pro. Back on the main view, we are continuing our quick tour. File option is of course for creating, exporting and managing our pictures. Edit. Here we have such options like copy-paste, undo and redo, and transforming our pictures and layers. Image option helps with resizing our picture. Adjust helps with managing lightness, saturation, exposure, etc. Layer option is useful to manage the layers of our project. Select gives you several select options. Filters allow you to put some blur, sharpen your image or distort it a little. Then we have several view options. And by the end, we have a square icon showing open documents, which we can close or rename. On the far right, we have additional icons. First is Layers icon. You can add, hide, delete and do other useful things with layers of your project. We have also Full Screen Mode icon. In this mode, drawing is much easier and you will not press by accident unwanted option. There is one more icon which will appear when you use, even once, Apple Pencil connected to your iPad Pro. This icon turns on pencil-only mode for drawing only with Apple Pencil. Apple Pencil has palm rejection system in iOS, but pencil-only mode in Art Studio Pro boosts prevention against any additional unwanted lines. Now let's have a look at the left vertical bar with very useful tools. When you select any tool, its icon becomes highlighted. Several tools have a tiny arrow on the right lower corner. It's a sign of press and hold option, which gives you additional variants of this particular tool. The main tool for drawing is of course Paint tool. To correct fast your drawing, you always have Eraser located a little bit below. Very important and useful is also a star icon. This is the place for your favorite tools brushes, etc. For example, let's add our own paint tool version, a wet paint with brush size 50. Just set your brush and then add your current preset to your favorites. It's very fast and very easy. Now let's have a look at the right vertical bar. This is our kingdom of color switches. After tapping on color, it is set as our active color. And of course, we can draw using this color. 
To change color parameters from this toolbar, you need to have an active tool which uses color options, for example, Paint tool. Then you have to use Color Editor located on the bottom of the screen. There you have several settings for colors and their groups. At the end of the right vertical bar we have a really very important tool – Undo. To use it, just tap Undo. When you press and hold Undo button, you will open the popover with Redo option. Now let's look at the bottom bar. In this area are located tool options. Bottom bar content depends from the tool you choose. So with Drawing tool, you will find there such options like Size and Opacity. Color icon allows you to open Color Editor. But there can be also Gradient or Pattern Editor. Let's focus on Brush Editor because it's a very interesting option. At first, you'll see only thumbnails. But with the button on the top, you can change Viewer Mode into Editor Mode. Entering this last mode, you can edit many, really many brush parameters. You have also Share icon on the top. You can export your current group of brushes or import something cool. Art Studio Pro works with the most popular brushes, colors, gradients and patterns formats. Brushes, colors, etc. are divided into several groups. You have many lists, many choices and of course you are free to switch groups which suits you the best in your work. Let's get back to the lower toolbar. Many times on the right you'll see button More. This button activates a popover with additional tool settings or sometimes with some cool and commonly used brush settings. And last but not least we have Gestures. So pinch in, pinch out, this is of course zoom in and zoom out. Two finger drag allows you to move your canvas. Two finger rotate allows you to rotate your canvas, but you can switch off this option in Art Studio Pro Preferences. Press and hold. When you use color tools, this gesture turns on eye dropped tool, which allows you to sample color from your canvas. Two finger tap, it's undo. And three finger tap, it's redo. And now time for a little dessert. So here it is, magic with Art Studio Pro. See you next time. Have fun using Art Studio Pro.